Welcome back to part two, where we're going to be looking at the relationship between mass and weight. In the first video, we collected the data above. Now we're going to analyse it by drawing a graph. If you plot the graph of the data, this is what it looks like. So plotting the graph, you get something that looks like this. You can clearly see that there's a straight positive trend. Now there's a phrase to describe this relationship. We would say that mass and weight are directly proportional. Now we know that this is a directly proportional graph because it goes straight through the origin here. And that straight line going up is indicative of a directly proportional graph. As one increases, so does the other, exactly the same rate. Additionally, we can use this graph to work out a rough approximation for the value of gravity. The value of gravity on Earth is actually the gradient of this line. So to work out the gradient of this line, we want to take two values. We then want to take the change in y of these two values and the change in x. And dividing one by the other gives us an approximation for gravity on Earth. So there we have it, the relationship between mass and weight. Mass and weight are directly proportional. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy sciencing.